So the biggest question I get asked with all of my grocery hauls and my budgeting and all of that good stuff is how do I plan meals? Like how do I know what I'm gonna buy for an entire month? So in this video, I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I took it from another YouTuber that I watch. It is called Our Tribe of Mini, and she does very similar stuff, if not the exact same stuff. Hers are a little more put together than mine are, but uh, you're gonna get the gist. Okay, so what I start by doing is getting my month together. Um, I mark off the days where I'm not going to be cooking. Um, you know, we have church this night, so it's got to be easy stuff. So it's going to be spaghetti all of these nights because um, I can throw it in my pressure cooker and move on with it. Um, like here, since it, for instance, it says marriage night at church. I will not cook dinner that day. And then I have days like this where I'm like, I don't know. I've run out of ideas. Um... Or this one. I'm going to do a roast, but I got to go to the store specifically for that to get a roast and get these veggies and stuff. So I didn't even buy anything for this day. So my children are homeschooled now. So that means that like breakfast, lunch, and snacks just all went up in my budget. So I think I need to update my budget a little bit. But I um, really just wrote out two like really rough drafts of breakfasts and lunches because I feel like if you're a little more organized with what exactly you're having that day, like, oh, hey, today's Monday, we're having this and we're having this, case closed, you know? Um, you can save a little bit of money too because this month for May, I was $140 over my budget. That is too much money to be over a budget. So for breakfast, for instance, and this is just a rough draft. I don't know if I will keep them like this. And this was just like an idea that I had. So um, Monday, cereal, toast and eggs, croissant, cinnamon rolls, toast and eggs, cereal, right? Um, they can also, because I know that some of my kiddos don't like eggs. Um, so they can have fruit or granola bar that morning, you know? So it's not like these aren't set in stone. Um, I also have pop tarts. So if they're like super against toast and eggs or super against this, well, okay, grab a pop tart instead. But my philosophy always is, is that once it's gone, it's gone. So if they eat pop tarts in the first day, it's gone. Here are the lunches that I have. Here are just like, um, some little sides that go with them. We also have like cheese sticks and things like that. So sandwiches, chicken nuggets and macaroni bean and cheese burritos, tortilla pizzas, and sandwiches again. Um, I did not buy any chips for this month. So sides would have to be like animal crackers and goldfish, and then they can have like a fruit or applesauce, things like that. Now for snacks, we don't have too terribly much snacks. I don't really think that children need snacks all throughout the day. So from like breakfast to lunch, there are no snacks at all. Um, lunch to dinner, there are snacks, but I have a time frame because I also don't want them to ruin their dinner. So if they miss that time frame, they get no snack. Um, and snacks could really be a whole variety of things. Um, I have some child that will just do a granola bar, or I have another one that's like, no, I need some yogurt. I need some fruit. I need some granola, you know? So it's different things. Um, typically they will get a thing of goldfish or like a little cup full of animal crackers, something like that, maybe some cheese, boiled eggs, things like that. So um, I don't plan too much around the snacks because it's kind of like a whim thing. If they want it, they can have it. If they don't want it, that's fine. We do got little time frames on that. Okay, and as you can see, I already changed my mind several times here. I kept it as cereal, but this day I decided to change it to waffles. My 10-year-old really loves cooking waffles, so I was like, you know what? I totally forgot about that. Let me add that. So I'm going to add the dinners onto here, and then down here at the bottom, I'm going to put breakfast and lunches for that current week. Okay, so finally done. My pen <laughs> ran out a few times. So this Sunday, I don't have anything because we're going to be driving home from out of town. Um, Monday dinner, as you can see, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have church. And here is the breakfast and lunch. This is where my pen really started to run out. Um, so the tops are breakfasts. And of course, I can erase this if the kids are like, I really don't like that. Whatever. Um, 
So those are all that. And of course, this is not including like snacks and stuff. So this is just for me to have my sanity. <laughs> So the biggest advice that I can give anybody that's wanting to plan meals better for their family is you need to have a plan. Like you just need to plan it out because when I didn't have a plan and I would just like every day I'd be like, what am I going to cook? I would run out of ingredients and I would get so stressed because I'm like, I gotta run to the store. You know, we live too far, blah, blah, blah. So I, the only reason why I do only do it once a month is a to save money and b we live really far out of town so i can't go to the grocery store every single weekend even bi-weekly is like not feasible sometimes so once a month once a month once a month gross grocery haul is um better for us um especially with a bunch of kids homeschooling and a full-time job and taking care of chickens and running a household you gotta have a plan together